Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today's video will be taking a look on Resurrection Remix which is version 6.0 based on Android 8.1 so without wasting any time let's get started this room was one of the best room known for its customizations and stability and now it's back with Android 8.1 having tons of customization options in this video, we'll be taking a look on the customization options available under this room, benchmark results, battery backup, and at the end of the video, I'll show you how can you install this room. This room is available for many devices. So if you have any other device, you can check it out in the description below and download the exact file required for your device. Going to about phone, here we'll get all the information about the software. As you can see Resurrection Remix version 6.0 Android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 5th Feb 2018 This is the latest security patch from Google Talking about the customization options This room have gesture features which can be found in the system Going to gestures here you have touchscreen gestures Which allows you to open up application And you also have jump to camera option Which can be used by double pressing the power key it also has features like ambient display, tap to wake and prevent accidental wake up which will avoid wake up of the screen when your device is inside the pocket. Under settings you'll find an option of configuration. This will give you lots of options to customize your device like status bar, panel, quick settings, recent interface, lock screen, navigation, buttons, gestures, animations and miscellaneous. At the bottom of that you'll get all the information about the ROM. Here you can also change the layout of the configuration by tapping these two arrows. This will allow you to switch layout between Marshmallow, Nougat or Oreo based layout. This room has few new customizations which are really awesome. First one which I like the most is the screenshot option. So this gives you two options over here which allows you to take complete screenshot of the screen and after that you can select the partial area to take a screenshot. So let's show you that. Once you take a screenshot, you need to select the specific area which you want to have it in the screenshot. Then we have few gestures options available like gesture anywhere, app circle bar and pie control. Under gesture anywhere, you can add any custom gestures like I have added for chrome, camera and audio effects. Let's show you one of the example. So this can be triggered from the left side of the screen. You just need to swipe it towards your right hand side and then you need to draw the gesture which you have already drawn. As you can see I had drawn C for Chrome and it opens up Chrome very easily. Under app circle bar you have options to add applications. That also can be triggered from the right hand side and you can see I have lots of applications added on the app circle bar. Then we have pie control which can be enabled from here and when you swipe slowly from the left the pie control should pop up. Under configuration you will find an icon of add, if you tap on that you, you can find the update option, reset UI and reset the complete settings. If you have messed up with the settings you can just use this option to reset all the settings under configuration. Now let's take a brief look on the configuration options available under settings. So in this you have first one is the status bar where you can adjust clock settings, network traffic, notification ticker, battery. Brand logo can also be enabled or disabled as you can see there is a logo of Resurrection Remix on the status bar. Under panels you have panel, volume panel, power menu and the last one is the notification panel. Then you have quick settings which gives you options of quick pull down, tiles layout, advance under which you have options of vibrate on touch. Then you have option of recents where you get option to clear all, recent style can be changed from here. And you also have an option of alternative recents that is slim recents. After that interface give you options of fingerprint, blur personalization, display size, dashboard, volume panel and sounds. Moving on to lock screen this gives you option of lock screen UI, weather option, button shortcuts and few options of security. Then we have navigations which allows you to enable or disable the navigation bar and other things you can customize on the navigation bar from here. After that we have buttons which gives you options of hardware key, power button and volume rocker. Then we have animations which gives you options of system animations, scrolling modifier, in off animations and you also have RR configuration tab transition effects. 
The last one is the miscellaneous under which it gives you options to suspend actions and the service settings. So these are the customization options under configuration. I did not cover it completely because I have made lots of videos and all these options are already available on the ROMs which are based on Android 8.1. Now talking about the battery backup which I got it on the first cycle I have already taken a screenshot which I'll show you now. So this is a screenshot under which 4% of battery was remaining and the screen on time was 4 hours and 14 minutes. So the battery backup is good, pretty good as per my usage and if you guys, you guys can get good battery backup because this I have been only using with the 4G data. Benchmark results were a little bit low as compared to different rooms as it's an initial build so you can expect improvement in the upcoming builds. Talking about Geekbench application, in this results were under single core it scored 1853 and multi core scored 3724. Under under 2 bench application the scores were 155,328. This was a complete review about the ROM and now let's take a look on the installation process. So guys, this ROM is supported by many other devices which can be found in the description below. You can check out your specific device or else if you have any other device do let me know in the comment section below so that I can provide you the link of the ROM if it is available for your device. So to install this ROM make sure you have downloaded the exact files which are mentioned in the description below as per your device. Once you are done with that you need to boot your device to TWRP recovery. Once your device boots to TWRP recovery, you need to locate the files which you have downloaded. After that, go to wipe, go to advanced wipe, from here clear everything excluding internal storage. Swipe to wipe. Once it is done, you can again go back, go to install. First you need to install the RR room and after that you need to install the Google app package which is ARM64 8.1. So I'll install both of these and after that I'll reboot my device. The device will take somewhere around 3 to 4 minutes to boot up. Once it boots up, you can complete the initial setup and you are good to go. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.